behind this tree. Oh, something, something brought me back. It was my dogs. My dogs came up and they looked at me and they they hugged me. My dogs, and then I came back because even though when all these other entities or beings or demons or dragons or whatever, whoever would, and this is she knew knew or something, whatever that is, is brand new to me. I've never even heard of it before. Um, but when they somehow get control of my tongue, my mouth, and my body, I'm, I'm in my body hearing and seeing everything and it makes me feel like I'm doing it, like I'm just making it up, playing this, but the words that come out are not my own, I mean sometimes they try to leak out, but when I'm the, under the influence of whatever it is that influences me, because I've been to by possession my whole life, I, I have a lot of sub blockers on my windshield, you know, and uh, my dogs actually brought me back, but I'm not going to be back for long because I have been thinking about things and I realized that The sin, all of the sin, all of the sin of the world, everything bad, evil, everything that is bad, everything that hurts, all of the sin is in my DNA, it's in me, I'm carrying it in this body, this body, it only makes sense that in order to finally pay off this karmic debt, we and to purify that and get rid of that cross that everybody's bearing, Jesus, in order to be able to make you guys stop paying and suffering all the time for a sin that either I did or in a past life or somebody I was related to from a past life, whatever. All I know is Eve ain't here, I am. And this, this debt has to be paid. And so to go back to the dirt, Jesus went through it. What, what makes me think I can get out of it? What makes me think I can even be worthy of anything being Earth Mother, Hippie Healer, or even Jesus' friend by not going through the same thing? He did it. He went through it. I gotta go through it too. It's I have to. In order to pay the current debt, I think, and I'm trying to look at this from a different point of view because I'm looking around and I'm seeing, well, I've been contacted by the Knights of the Golden Circle and the Virilis Society, which is in the Laboratories, you know, the gatekeepers, and um, Bob Drew is gatekeeper for the 800 million of gold, you know, from my Master Mason there for three days to discuss this, and it was about me, and right now, in Washington, D.C., until the end, until, until the end of July, right before Boho, there's a two week, two weeks in Washington D.C. right now, meetings of dragons and um, Illuminatis and Masons, human and dragon, whatever, right now are in Washington D.C. because of me, because this year at Bohemian Grove, it is going to be an infusion. Um, she, I call her Kitana, but she, she, um, Trinity, Trinity's daughter is eight years old, and she is living with Trinity's aunt, who's at Disney, and the ba the little girl has been raised and groomed since before birth. <laughs> My shirt, I was trying, I'm painting and coloring, that's why I got paint. Fucking want to be artist. I put my fucking art up there like it's something fucking good and special. And then I look at it and it's like it looks like a goddamn kindergartner did it. And I fucking sit there and look at it like, oh, look what I did. It's like, oh. Anyhow, this infusion, my golden wall, Prescott, and Lily did kidnap Trinity. Trinity has been missing since the fourth. They never thought I would find out, but the dragons told me because I've been in contact with their dragons. And 
a lot of them. It, and um, I was told, well, Beale's above heat. He likes, he told me that I can have my perfect, my perfect Lulu and still be me. And he, and, and Bill's book, he told me that he would give me, make, give me soft pillows and scented oils. And nobody would have it, that's like, that's like pure love, you know? To be nice to me and give me soft pillows and scented oils and a perfect Lilu. And science and technology isn't bad. And, and it's, if people do it, what is, you know, not always right is when they do it without somebody's knowing about it or without their permission, but to have the human enhancements for me to take this, my Lilu, my perfect Lilu, which is me, perfect. They already have her made. She's completely there ready and waiting. And, well, from what I understand, well, the, the whatever it was, it was some a beam that I had never met her before or just recently heard of a Lilu or whatever come in and said that that um, she, that's how I learned about I was listening when she was talking I was inside my body even though I didn't have control of my mouth or my body or anything I was still listening and hearing everything that was being said and um you know, all this is insane and crazy, and if I couldn't fucking confirm all this stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it's like validation is everywhere. Um, right now they're gathering together which ones are going to... There's an internal war between the dragons, the draconians. The reptilian that inhabited the Queen Elizabeth. Right now she's... Well, Trinity was kidnapped by Lily and Michael. They sold her, and Trinity is due to be sacrificed. Hung upside down on the cross and murdered by her own daughter, who would look like an eight-year-old child, but really she'd be inhabited by the Dragon Queen. But the Dragon Queen, she's my sister, she's my daughter. And they, in order for this infusion to happen, they need me there. And um, I suppose there's a lot of ways it could be done because this has never been done before, I don't think, I don't know. And um, Lily was right. My body is garbage. I am crap. I am damaged goods. I'm shame. I'm sin. I'm shame and 